Hello, this is a quick introduction to setting up your new ice stabilizer glide. What you've received in the box is the ice stabilizer glide unit itself, including the handle, the unit, the weight. Now this is weighted specifically for the iPhone. This screw allows you to adjust that weight based on your specific device if you need to counterbalance off slightly to the left or slightly to the right to ensure that your device is balanced. Now the first thing you're going to do is up here on the top you have the standard uh, tripod screw. You're going to take your tripod attachment that came with it and make sure that this is screwed in and you're going to want the hollow part facing you. So this is the front facing this way is the way we'll be filming so the front of the spring load is uh, facing forward. You're going to slide this as far back as you can go and then tighten it. So this is how it should look. Now that this is tightened, you'll take your device. Today I'm using the BlackBerry Curve because my iPhone is recording this. You're going to hold this hinge up, slide the phone in from the side all the way to the edge. When you let go, the spring-loaded hinge is holding it down, and this is how you'll use your eye stabilizer tripod. Now, when weighted properly, it's going to be leaning very slightly forward. Uh, the iPhone is a little heavier than this phone. You'll see that your device did come with some extra weights. These weights are intended for larger devices. If you want to use the, the, the eye stabilizer glide with your handheld video camcorder, uh, you can do that. You'll want to add these weights down here at the bottom where the weights are. So you'll just unscrew this, put those extra weights on, and you're good to go for a heavier device. Um, the, remember the key to successfully using uh, the eye stabilizer glide, it requires practice and it requires balance. So when it's balanced properly from every angle, um, it's not going to lean one way or the other. That's where you can adjust these weights. Um, and you're just going to want to get used to slow, smooth movements to ensure that you are getting uh, a good quality glide effect to your filming. So this is how it should look when everything is done properly. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or give us a call. Thanks. Enjoy your ice stabilizer glide.